Good morning, Calvary. Happy Tuesday. Pastor Chad here with your Word for the Day. And uh, we're continuing our, our new study on these Word for the Days in the book of Mark. And today I get to talk to you about Jesus' baptism. Uh, do you remember your baptism? Uh, I'm assuming that you've been baptized. I'm assuming that you've declared your faith in Jesus in the waters of baptism. What do you remember about that? Did, were you baptized as a child? I don't, I'm not talking about a baby where your parents had you baptized, but I was baptized when I was nine years old, and I remember a lot of it. Uh, but, but what do you remember about that? Do you remember understanding why you got baptized? Well, we're looking at the life of Jesus, and it says in Mark chapter 1, verse 9, In those days, Jesus from Nazareth of Galilee was baptized by John in the River Jordan. And when he came up out of the water, immediately he saw the heavens being torn open and the Spirit descending on him like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, You are my beloved Son, with you I am well pleased. Now, the, every gospel contains a, a picture of Jesus' baptism. Talks about this, this movement that he had where he went to John the Baptist who was baptizing in the Jordan River and, and got baptized. And John the Baptist didn't want to baptize Jesus. He's like, you should be the one baptizing me. And, and he was absolutely right because Jesus didn't need to repent from anything. Which begs the question, why did Jesus get baptized? What was the point of the Son of God, the Savior of the world, getting baptized at the beginning of his ministry? Well, I think there's three reasons that Jesus got baptized. At least three that come to my mind. See if these make sense to you. First of all, he got baptized because it was the beginning of his public ministry. You know, he grew up understanding who he was. Uh, we see that glimpse in 12 years old in the temple. Uh, and, and so now he's embarking on this public ministry and baptism was a way to signify the beginning of this uh, teaching, healing, uh, proclamation ministry that would result, of course, in his death on the cross, his resurrection from the dead, and our salvation. And then secondly, Jesus got baptized because he wanted to identify who he was. Uh, you know, Scripture tells us when he came up out of the water, he heard a voice from heaven saying, My beloved Son in whom I'm well pleased. This is my Son. This is the Savior. This is the, the one who is God incarnate in this world. And so he wanted to, to demonstrate his identity. And, and then, of course, the, the final reason is humility. Humility. Everything Jesus did was as a servant. And, and look at this bookend, if you will. At the beginning of his ministry, he, he practiced humility in allowing his servant, John the Baptist, to baptize him. And at the end of his ministry, he prayed to the Father in the garden, not my will, but your will be done. In both, he, he embraced the Father's plan for his life. And it may not have been something he wanted to do, but it was something he did in, in obedience and submission to the Heavenly Father. So what about us? Let's talk about our baptism. What does, it, what does it mean for us? Because I think the whys for Jesus apply to me and you. So for instance, uh, when we get baptized as followers of Jesus Christ, it is the beginning of our public following of Jesus. Now, baptism doesn't save anyone, uh, but it is your public declaration that Jesus Christ has forgiven your sins and changed your life, and now you are a follower of His. It's the public beginning of your following of Jesus. It's a starting point, if you will. And, and then secondly, baptism is about our identity. It's to identify whose we are, right? Because when you get baptized, you're declaring that you're an unashamed follower of Jesus, that you want the world to know that Jesus is your Savior and you belong to Him. You're now a child of God who's been born anew spiritually. And, and so it's about not just a public declaration of the beginning of our following of Jesus, but it's also to identify that we belong to Jesus. And then finally, baptism is an act of humility. It's an act of humility. I've had a lot of people through the years ask me, but why do I have to get baptized? You know the easiest answer? Because Jesus said so. Because Jesus said so. I, I realize if you've never been in church in your life and you walk into one of our church services at Calvary and you see a baptism take place, it, it is a strange occurrence. It is just plain weird. I mean, why is there a guy standing there uh, in, in water and being dunked and 
pulled up again uh, while everyone applauds. What does that have to do with anything? And that's a great question. What does it have to do with anything? It has to do with obedience. It has to do with submission to God's plan because Jesus said, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. See, it's, it's us saying, Jesus, I will follow you, even if that means getting in a pool of water in front of a bunch of people and letting some guy dunk me. It, it, that may not be the most spiritual reason, but it is really the most spiritual reason to say, Jesus, I surrender my pride, my independence, all that I am to follow you. Now, if you're watching this and you've never been baptized as a follower of Jesus Christ, can I encourage you to do that? Uh, whether you do it with us at Calvary or you find some other place to do it, it, it doesn't matter to me because what matters is being obedient to Jesus. He loves you. He gave his life for you. And if he has saved you and you know it, then you owe it to him to publicly declare the beginning of your life that is made new, to identify as a child of God, unashamed that Jesus is your Savior, and to submit to the will of your Heavenly Father. Uh, it really is that simple, and I hope that helps you understand why Jesus got baptized, and I hope it inspires you to follow in obedience and to encourage others to do the same. Calvary, hope you have a great day. God bless.